Hi there. Now, in the previous part of the question, we had the parabola y squared equals 4ax, and we had to find the equation of the tangent at this point p, and also the equation of the tangent at this point q. And we found that the equation of the tangents at p was this one, py minus x equals ap squared, and similarly at q, it was qy minus x equals aq squared. And now, we're told that the tangent at P meets the tangent at Q at the point R. And then we've got to find in terms of P and Q the coordinates of R, giving your answers in their simplest form for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward if you just want to check out the final answer. I'm going to take you slowly through the work solution though. So to do this, it's just going to be a question of solving these two equations simultaneously. So let's just copy those two equations down. We've got for the tangent at P, it was PY minus X equals AP squared. And for the tangent at Q, its equation then was QY minus X equals AQ squared. And so we'll number those equations 1 and 2. And to do this, what I'm going to do is equation 1 minus equation 2. So doing that, that will take out the X's here. So we're going to have PY minus qy and I'm going to factorize that to bracket p minus q times y and this is going to equal ap squared minus aq squared and I'm going to factorize that as well pull out a as a common factor and we'll have p squared minus q squared so that means that therefore y will be equal to a times p squared minus q squared all divided by p minus q but p squared minus q squared factorizes it's the difference of two squares so it's going to be p minus q multiplied with p plus q and that's all divided then by p minus q the two P minus Q factors, they cancel out, and that leaves us then with Y. We'll put therefore Y equals A times just P plus Q. Okay, we show that those two factors there cancel one another out. So we need to get x now, and we can do that quite easily, obviously, by just substituting this result into any one of our equations. I'm going to go into equation 1, though. And if we do that, we're going to get p times y, so that's going to be p times a times p plus q, and then minus x equals ap squared. And if I expand the bracket, we've got AP squared here, plus APQ, then minus the X equals AP squared. And rearranging this, I can see the AP squares cancel, so if I add X to both sides, we're going to get X equals APQ. So we're asked to find the coordinates of R, so in summary then, R has coordinates, its X coordinate is APQ, and its Y coordinate then is A bracket P plus Q. All right.